What's up, man? Appreciate you swinging by. Today, I got a new tool. You gotta stick around to the end of the uh, video to see what it is. Cool? Thanks. So, if you ever find yourself in a circumstance like such as me today, where I forgot to charge my Milwaukee, my flashlight. So, I'm gonna take this little guy here. Take my C drive. Plug it in here. Turn this on. Full battery. And that's charging. Cool? That way, I don't have to worry about plugging it in somewhere. I can just go on to work. Cool beans. Just a little tip or trick. So, got the laser set up. We're ready to uh, do the excess cut off. Just a little bit off there. Nothing major. I want to show you how I mounted this laser today. Ain't that cool? It bites right on that door stop. I've looked for that. I bought that at Lowe's about a year ago. And I've looked and they don't, because somebody asked me yesterday about it, they don't make those. Or you can't buy it at Lowe's. They don't have them in stock. They have a new version of it without that mount. You can buy them on eBay, though. Cool. Let's get to work, man. I decided to get the mess out today. <laughs> Put her to work, man. Make sure you get those little uh, burrs out of there. Looks all right. There we go. And like Flynn. Finger doesn't want to catch on this one. It's there. Nope, that's the wrong wall, bro. It's the wrong freaking walls. It's a 32, not a 30. Tag on it. Jeez, man. It's a 30. The package says 30. The package says 30. But that's not 30, dude. What is wrong with this picture, man? What is wrong with this picture? Is the tub too small? One inch. The 
bathtub, it says 29, not 30. Freaking kidding me, man. Freaking kidding. I get one inch overhang. It's just, I mean, it feels all right. It's just one inch, one inch, dude, wider. This is crazy, man. Wait. I took it right off the shelf, man. 60 by 30 bathtub and the box is 29 60 by 29 and that's one inch I mean it's not that big of a freaking deal I'll show you what it looks like this is my problem that's the reason why it's not catching that groove one inch Well, I have to install it now. I can't. <laughs> it's not like you take it back, man. Oh, my gosh. Freaking kidding me. Freaking kidding me. Well. Jeez. What I can do is get a piece of that um, vinyl board and make, make the strip all the way down just for <laughs> I, I got the, I got to install it man I've already bought it it's already up I've already run screws in it I can't take it back wow what do you think I should do the vinyl it, it's like it's a vinyl plastic you can get it in like one by eights or whatever. I can get a piece of that and make that corner block. It'll look nice. Here's my other problem. Is that one inch. See how close I'll be to that seam? Let me get that. This is my cover plate. See how close I'd be to that seam? Whew. One inch is not that big of a deal. It's just, it's, I might end up having to put a, a bit, make a false strip for that. It'll look nice. I mean, it will. I mean, I'll make it look nice. Bruh, it's, it's been a bad week. I think we're gonna go ahead and install it. I've already got it here. It's in. We'll go ahead and install it. I'll make a couple corners for it. I hate doing that, man, because that, you know, the only other problem is, is this wall, it's not anchored, see? So, because it's not anchored, it's not catching that last little pin. I'll have to make sure I have to run this in and screw this real good. It's not, <laughs> once it's in, it's not gonna move around. You know, I'll just have to make, run a lot of screws to anchor that in place. Same thing over there. I'll have to anchor it in real good. Of course you gotta anchor it in anyways, but I think we'll be all right. Like I said, man, I'm not perfect, dude. It's the same thing. It's just out and one inch. I can make that. I'm not tripping. I'm, I'm tripping on that. I can make that. A little square for it. I'll be all right. 
I'll just anchor it real good. I mean, it's going to get anchored anyway. So it's not. It's not. It, it's just. It's just a slip, man. I'm tripping on it. Let's run some screws in there and anchor that bad boy and call it a day. Freaking barely. That shower head's gonna miss just freaking barely. This is all gonna be drywall. So I think it, I think it'd be all right. Well, no, that's gonna be low head. Because it's upside down. So the shower head be like right freaking there. I'm six foot, so we need to raise the shower head up. Freaking good times, man. Somebody asked me about this Klein um, respirator. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's small, just your basics. Okay. Um, the cool part about it is your last was the filters. You got these two little knobs here, one on each side. Just give them a little turn and then pull the cover off, and that's where your filters are. And you can get this, these little filters the same place where you get the mask itself. They're not too expensive, but you can see it catches quite a bit. Yeah. So these just, they just pop out and you replace them. No big deal. I've got some in the truck. This is a, that's funny. This is safety glasses. These are pretty nice. Um, it has little vents at the top you can close or open to let more air in. But they're uh, they're pretty cool. They got a little foam on the edge. You know, it's it's actually pretty nice. It's got quite a bit of foam right there on the edges. But they're cool. I got these for whenever I'm doing. You know, gonna be busting up a lot of stuff. Cause I don't want to chip my glasses, so cool. But yeah, it's it's got the little vents on the bottom and the top where you can open it up if you're you you know it's fogging up. You can crack those open, just pow 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 pow, and that way your eyes won't you won't get the fog in there. Cool. See, yeah, they're, uh, they're they're worth the money. Yeah, they're not real expensive. I can't give you a link for this because. I'm not affiliated with them or with uh, Klein or Milwaukee or DeWalt, <laughs> but and I don't buy stuff off of Amazon such as DeWalt Tools or um, Milwaukee.
So I got that raised up. I'm hoping that's going to be out far enough. But we're going to go ahead and cut the holes. And set this up and see if I'm going to have to bring that plumbing out farther. I don't know. It's pretty freaking close, man. I have to put a block of wood behind it, push it out far enough. We'll see. Good times, man. Good times. Well, that battle's over with. Alright, so the only thing I got left, the only thing I can do now is go ahead and foam this up all the way around. Foam it up and um, wait till Monday. And then we can start the drywall process with the sink and because we're going to have to tear the sink the rest of the way out. Uh, I'll see if I can just get an exact sink base. That way I don't have to do a whole lot of extra stuff. I'm kind of waiting on the boss to get back. Anyways. Yeah. So we'll just go ahead and foam it in. Foam in the gaps. And... Uh, Wait till Monday. Welcome to New Arrival. I've been wanting this tool for many, many, many years. So I'm gonna show you what I got. Some of you guys know what it is, but I'm gonna show you. Ready? Wow! -bow. <laughs> I was finally able to get me one. This is used. It's used. And propress. The guy only used it a couple of times and put it up for sale 
and it's in just absolutely awesome condition. It comes with everything. It comes with a half, three quarter, and one inch uh, jaws. And yes, it is ProPress M12. Awesome, man. Guy was uh, selling it. I, I paid basically 50% retail for this. So I got this for next to nothing compared to, you know, <laughs> full price. But I, I kept waiting and waiting and waiting until um, I found one on Marketplace. And the guy was a plumber. Long story. Super nice guy's name was Matt. He uh he sold it to me for uh, half price. So that is the new tool. Cool. Like I said, I've been waiting. I've been wanting this tool for five years, something like that. And it's 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 really a god blessing, man. That I was able to get it for half price. So because you know I'm just doing part of maintenance. All these tools are my tools. I buy these tools myself. So for me to be able to get that at 50% price that's that's a god blessing man so appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video peace out my brothers